All right, so we want to make some cells that will have our comic strip happening inside. So this is how you do it. You want to choose the background image. So if I have a plan that I want to talk to Thomas Jefferson, I want to think what place does he go to? Monticello. So let's search that. So up here you've got your insert image. If I click on this, I can search the web right here for Monticello. Type it in, I hit enter. I just did this, that's why it's popping up. So I can choose whatever image I want. Just click, drag it over, drop it, let it pop up. You gotta wait for it. The longer you wait, the better it becomes. Here it goes, here it goes, wait for it, wait for it. And there's Monticello. All right, so if you wanna change the size, don't just click and drag this because that's only gonna pull from one corner and then your image is going to be a little offset. Instead, you want to hold down the control key. That's the bottom left key, the CTRL control key. If I hold down that control key, you'll notice all the sides going together so it keeps it proportionate, not just one side coming in, making everything off. All right, so now once we have that in and it is highlighted, we want to put a little border around this and a shape to it. Because, for example, our first one here has a little rounded shape to it. We want to do that to the same thing. So we're going to choose that image so we got that blue around it. Next to where you crop it, there's a little mask image drop-down menu. When you click on that little arrow, you can choose whatever kind of shape you want it to be. I always like this little rounded rectangle because it just rounds it off, makes it kind of have that comic book feel. Now, once it's rounded off like this, I can change the thickness of that little border. I can make it super thick, or I can just back it off a little bit so it's like that. I can also choose whatever kind of color I want to make it. So I'll just make it something just bright that pops. Now, it's just like that. Now, if I'm moving this around and I get my other ones on here and want to resize it, again, hold that control key down and you can resize it and it will stay exactly the way you have it. All right, so you can move it all around and do whatever you need to do to fix it in the spot that you need it. And it's all good. All right, that's the first video. Next one, we'll get some images in there.